Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. This week, we're going to have a quick run through of Pixo, a great photo and screenshot manipulator for iOS. And its primary function is to take multiple images and stitch them together. So I'm on my iPad. Uh, the app works great on your iPhone as well. I'm just recording on the iPad to give us a little bit more screen estate to work with. So I'll open for the first time and we have to grant access to photos. So I'll tap OK. And I only have two photos here on this device that I would like to stitch together into one. If you have a large photo library, you can tap all photos to offer a different view for selecting images, with the recently added one at the bottom there probably being the most useful. I'll tap that closed and from here you can select the photos that you wish to manipulate. Now you don't have to use the application to stitch photos together. You can just select one photo, tap adjust, and use some of the tools that we're about to cover. For example, here we can see Groot the leopard gecko shedding, and we can manipulate this image and save it if we like. But for now, I'm just gonna go back and tap the second image here, which is John Goodman's character in The Big Lebowski, very much approving of Groot's new look. So as we have two images selected, we have two options now at the bottom. We can stitch them together vertically or horizontally. I'm not going to look at the vertical one on this screencast that is much better suited to an iPhone. So I'm gonna tap horizontal as that fits the landscape profile of this iPad. We see the photos are joined together here and we're in the set of crop tools. There are three crop options at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna to pinch to zoom out a little bit, which will make it easy to see. And I'll tap the crop pencil on the left-hand side. I can swipe across to the left and I can crop it that way, then let go. I can undo by swiping back across. And when done, tap the tick and move on to the next one. So the middle one, I can move Groot across, I can move John across and tap the tick when complete. And then finally, I'll just, I'll just trim a little bit over here on the, on the right. The middle crop option allows us to crop the whole border. So top and bottom, as well as the left and right hand sides. And the right hand option allows every edge to be cropped. However, this will of course result in some scaling taking place. So if I tap the top right hand pencil and crop in, then the whole image scales to fit. Same down here on the bottom left hand one, we can see there. Over to tools now, and we've got some good stuff available here. I'll just zoom in a bit. And the left hand option is a copyright watermark that you can add. So tapping that shows some more options. On the left, we have no watermark, which is as it is now. Then there are some placement markers next to it to the right. To create the actual watermark, tap the settings cog on the far right hand side, type in the name, I'll call this Greencast Online. If you want the watermark to apply to each image in the stitch, you can toggle this on. I'll just leave this off for now. I'll tap back out and by selecting the different placement markers, we can define where the watermark is going to be. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.